Hey everybody, good evening, good evening. It is getting late around here. It's like 10.30 here, I think, Eastern time, hello. Um, so I said I'm doing this card reveal in my PJs because I don't know why it is, but it seems like when I say that in the title of this live stream, I get more views and I don't get it because, I mean, the PJs are not anything exciting, you know what I mean? I mean, we all have to have our, you know, soft and silky PJs. I've worn those on here before, but most of the time, they're not that thrilling. So, if you're coming on here for the PJs, you're just not gonna get the excitement, I'm sorry. But these like, it literally these say, these are white cotton and they say like, sleep on them, like good night. <laughs> and that, those, that's my pajamas. So that's the excitement of the PJs. Once in a while, I'll break out the little navy blue silky thing, but we're not doing that. And that's not what this is about. This is just about, it's late, so I'm in my PJs, I'm not gonna lie. And this is what I do. So, there it is. We're just gonna be me. Haha. <laughs> hey everyone, hey everyone, what's up, what's up? Um, hey Carrie, I liked your post today. Was it today's post, your live stream? It was real, oh my gosh. Loved what you said and just putting yourself right out there and sharing your story, that was amazing. So, well done and just blessings on what you're doing. That's awesome. So, on your co your new coaching venture, going to that, um, that's so needed, so needed right now. Um, okay, so anyways, hello everybody. So, here we go, it's a bit late and um, so I'm gonna go just be cruising through this. So number one, we're gonna start with the card to the left, of course, number one, that is Cupid. Isn't that cute? He's blowing bubbles with hearts. That's really sweet. I will read the quote to you. This is a new one. We haven't seen this before on our reading, so this is pretty cool. We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. So who's thinking about love out there? So if you're picking card number one, are you thinking about romance because that's what Cupid's all about right all about the love so if you chose that and just know that the angels are seeing they know that you have this desire for romance whether you're trying to bring a new romance into your life or you're trying to rekindle your current relationship the angels see it see you and hear you and they know that's what you're wanting however they're not we only we know that we can only have control over ourselves and over our actions and our thoughts. So the angels are asking you to first, before you're focusing on another person and creating romance with some sort of a relationship, focus on loving yourself and your life first. Even though you're thinking, oh, wouldn't life be great if I could share it with somebody and I had you know, the love of my life, my soulmate, well, the angels are saying, yes, that of course, we all want that loving connection, right? We're human, but focus on being grateful for what you have right now, what exists as it is today. And when you have that gratitude, it opens your heart even wider and raises your vibration even higher. And same thing with loving yourself, unconditionally love yourself. The same love you wanna give so badly to somebody else extend that to yourself. How often do we not do that? <laughs> like how often do we just we just pour out our love and our compassion and our empathy at all times to our children, to our best friends, to our family and our our significant others and we don't give that same kind of love to ourselves. So, and that's so important when you love yourself unconditionally. I just posted this morning. It's kind of funny that I pulled this card because I just posted that when you love yourself and you've made that decision, no other person can hurt you. No other relationship can hurt you and bring you that level of pain because you've got, you have that unconditional love for yourself and you know that you'll be okay no matter what. So love, dig, dig deep and find that love for yourself. Where do you need to forgive yourself? Where do you need to extend yourself more love and compassion, empathy, and just self care? Maybe you just need to like go on a spa day and spoil yourself, whatever it is. All of that raises your vibration. When your vibration is raised, you're going to attract others that are on that same vibration or higher, which means you're going to be attracting that soulmate that you really want, because when you're coming out of that want and needy place, guess what you, we end up attracting? Ooh, these, the relationships that we just don't have 
fun with in the end, right? That we end up telling stories about on Facebook and get all upset. So don't do that. Um, so enjoy your life, love yourself, raise your vibration, and maybe that means you spoil yourself. When you get this Cupid card, you can literally bring the romance into your life by doing what? Get yourself some roses, surround yourself with beautiful flowers, surround yourself with, get a bottle of champagne, surround yourself with candles, whatever you're doing, take a bath with candles or just put candles at your dinner table. Something to make the romantic, bring romantic mood to everyday life. Even if you're like watching TV, put a candle out there. Play some music that's really like, just puts you in that mood, whatever it is. Bring that romance into your space, into your, um, I guess, you know, bring that into your physical space and let your energy soak that in, even if you don't have the relationship that you want right now. Or if you do, turn on the charm, turn on the romance, get that going. You know what you need to do, right? If you're trying to be the partner that you want. If you have a partner, you're trying to increase that romance between you, instead of focusing on what that person's not doing right and what that person could do better, be the person yourself. Be that person in the relationship. Date. Be the person that you would want to date, right? So there you go. So bring it in. Rose quartz. Get some crystals. Maybe some rose quartz. Something really pink and beautiful um, to just signify that love and romance. Oh, and by the way, Archangel Michael or Michael, whatever you want. To, I always say both. I don't know why. It's silly. I say Michael. That's how I say it. Um, he can. He's the one who cuts cords and protects you and puts courage around you. He is about courage and cutting cords that aren't healthy. So release any attachment, ready, snip, release any attachment to past relationships. So if you're holding on to anything while you're wishing for your ideal relationship, gotta just like cut it off, ask Archangel Michael for help if you can't do it by yourself, any unhealthy attachments, habits, patterns, relationships, still talking to the ex when you shouldn't be, just, just, you know, just ask for that help. That's telling you, say to yourself that it is safe for me to love and be loved. It is safe. Okay. Know this, ask for the courage and say this to yourself that it is safe for me to love and be loved. All right. So that's card number one, Cupid. Okay. That was a lot. So card number two, this is the middle. Hello, everyone who's joined since. Hello, welcome. Thank you for being here. Is ask. This is one we've seen before. So ask, which kind of goes well with Cupid anyway, if you're picking more than one. Um, so ask says, ask us to help you in the situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. The angels like to be asked, like you to ask them for help. So rather than just be intrusive to you, although they will butt in when they need to, believe me, if they're trying to help you out, they will. But if you ask, they just love that. So if you haven't been asking for guidance, if you've been feeling kind of weird about it, or it's just something you haven't done before, um, go ahead and do it. You have the connection too. So it's not just people who read the cards, it's every, every single one of us has the ability to hear and, and speak with our angels, speak with the divine guidance, hear it, sense it, see it. So start doing that, and whatever it is that's on your mind, if you pick number two, ask. Talk like me, like I said before many times, I talk to the angels like I'm talking to a friend, or you can do a prayer or a meditation, whatever you feel comfortable with. Go ahead and ask. And you can ask, no request is too big or too small. Don't worry about it. There's no rules here. They are just here to love on you and to guide you, and that's it. They're, they're here to help you guide you to your life's mission and, and your best path. So does it matter how small or how big? And it also doesn't matter if it's feeling, a feeling request, like you're looking for more faith, you're looking for strength, you're looking for courage, um, or if it's something more material, like you're looking, you're wanting money, or you're wanting a new career, you're wanting um, more time or better health, anything you can ask them for, do not worry about it. There's no shame in any game when it comes to that. There's no rules, this is not religious, you don't have to feel like you have to be humble and you can't ask and that's selfish, nope. You ask, okay, and they're listening, and they will start working on your behalf as soon as you ask. They hear you right away, hear you here, hear you when you talk, and they will help you out. So ask for help. That was number two, ask. So, oh, and by the way, 
The other part of that is you can also ask your earth angel friends for help. It doesn't have to be just them. If that, if you're thinking that you're overwhelmed and you have a situation you know you wish you could have some help with, but you feel weird about asking or you haven't asked or you feel like you should be able to handle it and it's not going the way you want, ask others here to help you and open yourself up or if you're in business or you're at home and you're overwhelmed taking care of your home, hire, hire help with whatever it is. Don't feel weird because you're hiring somebody to help clean your house that you are blessing somebody with work to do that they love to do and they're earning money and supporting themselves for and you're getting the help that you need to free up your time for whatever it is that's your priority right now and there's no shame in that game. Okay, there's nothing about you. You just get the help that you need and you can outsource that in whatever way that looks like, whether it's business, something that you just don't like doing in business. Like I can't, like maybe you hate to write a blog post or you hate writing, you don't like sending emails, hire somebody to do it. There's plenty of ways to do it. And if you are in business and want to know, you, you can ask me. I have all like different websites and resources that I've used in the past for outsourcing and it's, it's totally fine. It's okay, you don't have to do everything on your own and you don't have to be good at everything. So that, that will just confuse your energy and make it whew, and you're not gonna attract that, you're not, your vibration's gonna get lower when you're overwhelmed and you're stuck and your creativity is sapped. So that's not gonna raise your vibration, that's what you want. So for success, you wanna be up. So you need help, so ask or hire, no problemo. All right, so number three, this is the card to the right, is focus on service. Love that picture, it's so cool. There's the unicorn. I mean, who doesn't love the unicorn? There we go, so focus on service. And it says your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So if you pick that card and you're worrying about where you're at, maybe you're worrying about um, where your life's going, maybe you're worried about what's my purpose, what's my mission, you're trying to find that, Maybe you're worried about a business that you've started. Either you're thinking about starting it or you started or maybe you've been working a business, maybe as an entrepreneur and things aren't moving along as quickly or the way you want it to and you're wondering what's going on, what's wrong. Or maybe there's a situation, I don't know, that just something, you're worrying about whether or not something will work out. So. This card says, and I've actually heard Tony Robbins say this too, that whenever you're stuck and you're overwhelmed and you're going in and you're beating yourself up and you're stressed out about you how your life is going or not going and you're wondering whether or not things are going to work and can you do this and you're like, ah, what's, what's, why am I here? What am I doing? Why are things going so badly? Is to, to get out of that mental muck is to focus on serving somebody else. So that could mean something as simple as go help somebody carry groceries at the grocery store. That could mean mowing somebody's lawn for them. That could mean you find a gift card that you really don't need and you go and give it to your neighbor. Just give it to your neighbor. Or you could put it on a Facebook, one of the Facebook marketplace groups and say, I got a gift card to a pizza place. Whoa free for whoever wants it. Like you don't have to sell it. Maybe you just give it away. You're just being of service and you're really just putting a smile on somebody's face. So, ooh, that was weird. That just came up on my screen. Sorry guys, my phone's falling over. So focus on serving. If you're in business and you're an entrepreneur, you've heard this. And even if you're in like, especially network marketing, home business industry, you hear this all the time, servant leaders. So if you're thinking your business is not going the way you want, focus on helping other people get to where they want to go or focus on serving your customers to the best of your ability. Bring your own unique gifts. That's the thing. That's the catch. Even if you're in, you know, like I said, home business, what makes you different from all the other distributors out there? Use your gifts and whatever your strengths are to serve others in that way. So, you know, your business may be, I don't know, maybe essential oils or it might be makeup, but can you do humorous live streams showing people how to use products, maybe even in a silly way, and put smiles on people's faces and you, you just entertain the heck out of people, but they come and see you and you're building your business and they wanna be around you because you're raising your vibration because you're doing what you're good at. Maybe it's just, 
serving your customers, packaging things extra special and the way you do it and writing them a handwritten note. Focus on serving, get people to where they wanna go and I think that was Zig Ziglar who said that, right? If you get people to where they wanna go, you get to where you wanna go and that's not exactly how we said it but that's the gist and I know that quote's been passed around Facebook many a time. So um, use whatever comes natural to you to help. Sometimes, especially when we're in business, we see People have done, they're doing things a certain way and we're trying to emulate what they're doing and it's always good to watch your mentors and watch others who have gone before you and been successful and take take tips and take pointers for them and do it and incorporate it. Success habits, always awesome, but sometimes you have to use your own natural abilities and so if you try to do and try to use scripts and try to do things and say things like your upline or like your mentor or whatever it is and it might sound kind of strange and you're not having that same success, that's because that's not your gift, that's not your strength and you have to take what they do and make it yours and then you will be able to serve others in that way. So, and if you're feeling nervous, you're feeling anxious, you got anxiety, even if it's nothing to do with your business or your success or anything like that, you're just feeling anxious and stuck in, in, in the headspace, go help somebody today. That will automatically raise your vibration, make you feel better, just bring you up, lift somebody else up, and it always will lift you up. Even if you give somebody a compliment on Facebook, look at their Facebook page, you know, congratulate them, send them a private message saying, congratulations on your wedding, saying I love the pictures that you're posting, you look great, or whatever it is. Just focus on lifting somebody else up and you will lift yourself up as well and get closer to where you wanna go. So there is number three, that was focus on service. So that is it, my friends. And thank you to all of you who were hanging out here with me. And for those of you who just joined, sorry, I went through them all. I'll do the cards real quick as they were. Number one, whoops, number one to the left was Cupid, romance. Number two in the middle was ask. And number three was focus on service. So that's the recap. So if you have, if you missed it, you have to go and see the replay, which I'm gonna post in a minute. Thank you so, so much for being on here with me. I so appreciate it, especially you East Coasters on this late hour and enjoying the PJs, right? So I will see you guys. Um, tomorrow, I may not be doing a reading tomorrow. I'm going to see. I do have a jam-packed family day, so I may not, but I will see what I can do. If not, I will definitely see y'all on Thursday. If you have any questions, please, you need clarifications, any questions, comment below. Um, want a private reading? Send me a private message, and I'll give you the details on that. Um, any women out there who want to learn more about simplifying life, and I'm going to be doing some mindset work, live streams in my women's group. It's called, right now it's called the Simplicity Project, but I'm gonna change it to something, I don't know what, maybe Warrior Women Alliance or something, I don't know. But it's gonna be a women's group where we're gonna work on mindset and we're gonna work on healing work. It's gonna be really cool. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for being on. I so appreciate the hearts, the likes, and the shares because you never know who needs to hear this message today. And of course, I always thank the angels for being able to be with me and be with us and to deliver the wisdom that comes from the divine. And I will see you all on the next live stream. Be blessed and have a great night.